to enable that org presents mathematical literacy, scales, maps, and plans of les lesson two, the memos. Right, remember, you first have to do the exercises, attempt it yourself before you look at this video, because um, you now have to mark your work. Right, so now this is a question about the the um, the bags that was resized. Right, so this one I told you is three centimeters. So if you convert it, you will go three times 15 and that's 45 centimeters. So it means that if you use this, um, let's get a bit. If you use this scale, the bag in this picture is 45 centimeters wide. If I measure this bag, um, I told you that it's 5 centimeters. You take 5 times 15 and you get 75 centimeters. So now the same bag, because of a rescaling, is now 75 centimeters wide. Mm. Okay, so the question is what do you notice about it? The answers are different. And which one is correct? Is the bar back 45 centimeters wide or is it 75 meters wide? Okay, so it doesn't matter which one is correct. The real thing is that you have rescaled the pictures, so therefore your answers are now different. So therefore this, the scales here are not correct anymore. Okay, the second one. One, um, if you take this scale and you fit the segments in, you will see that there are three of these segments that fit onto the bag. Okay, so because you have three segments, you times the three segments by um, you times the three segments by fifteen, and you get forty-five centimeters. Right. So um, here it says your measurements will be different in four and five. So here you will have different. Um, you're in question four and five, but your answer should be the same. So even though you don't get this uh, three centimeters, you should still get 45 centimeters because you know that the scale fit into the bank three times. Okay, the, it's the same reason what for um, because I've rescaled the uh, the actual pictures. A segment here, you will take the segment, and the segments are slightly bigger, so it will fit into the bag one two three times and again you will see that the bag will end up also being 45 centimeters so what do you notice the answers are exactly the same and remember I just told you that when you resize because you've um, increase the size of the picture you've also increased the size of the scale but because you use a number scale here yeah, the numbers actually increase in size but they don't it doesn't get 1 to 20. Okay, um, and then write a sentence to explain. When resizing scale diagram using the number scale, we have to change the scale in order to for it to remain accurate. In the bigger diagram, we will need to number scale to be 1 to 9 for the width of the bag to be 45 centimeters. When resizing diagrams using the bar scale, the length of the segment increase increases proportionally to the diagram. Therefore, the resize bar scale is also accurate and will give us the same answer. Okay, example five, drawing a scaled map. Um, so if the width of the room is three meters, remember I said three by four and a half, you will take three and times it by a hundred to convert to centimeters. Okay, so it's 300 centimeters, and then we'll go 300 centimeters. And now we will divide by 50 because we have real life and we want the 1. So we divide by 50 and we get to 6 centimeters. So the width of the room should be 6. The length of the room is, f so measure on your picture and see whether it's 6. And then you can give yourself a tick. I think it will, it's going to be correct. Um, the four and a half meters, we first have to convert to centimeters, so I times by 100, and that's 450 centimeters. And then I divide by the real life scale, 
and I get to 9 centimeters. So this measurement should be 9 centimeters. So please check whether you are correct or wrong. 6 centimeters by 9. Now I want to add some furniture. So I have this room I just drew, 6 by 9, and the width of the couch is 1,2 meters times 100 is 120 centimeters. Divide by 50 using the scale, so it's 2,4 centimeters. So this couch should be 2,4 wide. And along the couch is 4 centimeters. Um, th uh, so you take the 2 meters given to you, convert it to centimeters, divide by 50, and we get 4 centimeters. So it should be 2,4 by 4 centimeters. The table, the window is 2 meters. So there's the table window. So it's 2, um, that's 200 centimeters. Divide by 50, give me 4 centimeters. So 200 divided by 50 is 4 centimeters. So the, no, wait. Um, yeah. So the length of the window it's should be four centimeters so that's incorrect should say four and here should also say four now oh, that's under nice as four four centimeters is the window okay just a small printing error and then the width of the table is one meter so it's 100 centimeters. If I divide by 50, I get to 2 centimeters. And the length of the table is 1.5 meters. 2 centimeters is 150 centimeters. Divide by 50 is 3 centimeters. So the table is 2 centimeters by 3 centimeters. So please measure your scale model and see whether you have done it correctly. Okay, the next question. The scaled map of the room. So the room is 3 by 4, and the bed is 92 by 188, and the bedside table is 400. Okay, so 3,5 meters is 350 centimeters, and 4 meters is 400 centimeters. So converted, the bed is divided by 57 centimeters by 8 centimeters. So this should be 7 centimeters when you draw it. No, I'm lying. It's the room. It should be 7 centimeters by 8 centimeters. So please measure and see whether you've done it correctly. The width of the bed is 92 centimeters and the length is 188 centimeters. That's already given to you. Divide by 50, we get that the width of the bed let's see if we can change this into a one ha huh. comma eight oh now that looks like a three one comma eight four centimeters by three comma seven six centimeters and I can write the bedside table in the room, this bed, and here the bedside table is 400 millimeters. If we divide that by 50, we get to 8 millimeters. So the bedside table is a square, so it's 8 millimeters by 8 millimeters. Okay, and remember the next question will differ so severely from student to student because all the classrooms are different. That's impossible for me to answer. But just use this and maybe ask a friend if they can mark the work for you. Thank you very much. The, um, this is going to continue in week 26. So if you want to skip from now to week 26 you are welcome to otherwise just remember in week 26 that we are just continuing with this work thank you